Hey, how are you all and welcome back to yet another amazing video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys step by step how you can set up your PC's settings as well as game settings for better FPS and improved performance in Metal Eden dropped recently. I hope this guide helps you out so make sure to stick around till the end of this video and with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Number one is the best Windows settings and for that simply search for settings onto your PC and once you're over here come down to gaming. Head over to game bar and simply turn this thing off since game bar consumes a lot of CPU and RAM resources in the background as it is an overlay service. Disabling that will help you to optimize the performance of your PC. Then go back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn this thing on. This will optimize the performance of your PC by turning things off in the background and you'll be getting significant FPS boost. After that click on the graphics button underneath that and enable optimize optimizations for windowed games as this will help you to reduce input latency if you are playing games on windowed mode then click on advanced graphic settings and enable a hardware accelerated gpu scheduling since this option will help you to utilize a dedicated graphic card over your cpu based graphics then you wanna have to click on the add desktop app button over here and go to the download location of your game for me it should be right under here in the steam apps common and you have to find metal eden double click in that and then head over to metal eden binaries v64 and then you'll find metal eden win64shipping.exe click on the add button over here and once that is added scroll a bit down to find that game select it and then for the gpu preference from let windows decide you're gonna have to switch it to high performance and it should say your dedicated graphic card name over here once that is done simply close your settings next step is ms config and for that simply search for system configuration on your pc and press enter once it opens up head over to the boot section and then click on advanced option click on number of processor and choose the maximum number of processor available for your pc once that is done click on ok and then select no GUI boot. This will utilize all of your CPU cores while your PC boots up. Then head over to the services tab and select hide all Microsoft service. This will list all of the unwanted services which are running on your PC. Some of these services are really useful such as VGC and other anti-cheat services because it is required to launch the game. But other than that, I would recommend you guys to disable as many services as you can over here. Some of these services may include your fan control service, RGB service, browser update service and other unnecessary necessary services which you feel you do not need right after you boot your PC. Once that is done, click on the apply button and then click on exit without restart. Next step is disabling background applications and for that simply search for edit group policy over here. Press enter and this will open up local group policy editor. This step will only be available for Windows Pro users. Double click on computer configuration, then administrative templates, then windows components and then app privacy. Right over here you'll find let windows apps run in the background. Double click to open this thing up and click on enable. This will enable the policy. And and for the default for all applications, select force deny and then click on the apply button. This will deny all of the applications running in the background, allowing you to improve your system's performance. Once that is done, simply click. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC and then you wanna have to look for your local disk C. Click on the create button and name it Metal Eden just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your game settings back to normal without any issues. Once that is done, click on close and close system properties. The next step is Metal Eden FPS Pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You guys can find in seven simple folders over here, which are meant to optimize the performance of your PC step by step. First things first is CPU priority, in which I have left AMD and Intel CPU priority. If you guys have an AMD CPU, you can double click and apply the AMD CPU priority. And if you guys have an Intel CPU, you can double click and apply the Intel CPU priority. These priorities help you to set up the correct D word values to optimize the performance of your PC. Second folder is RAM optimization, in which I have left a ton of these presets according to your PC's RAM. I use 32 GB. RAM registry so I need to apply this one and if that doesn't work out well for you guys you can always reset it back to deep. Third folder over here is metal even priority in which I have left above normal, high priority and normal priority. I would recommend you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose right over here. Fourth one is disable unwanted services in which I have left a ton of these services which are absolutely useless but they are still running in the background and consuming your process count. Over here if you use any bluetooth or printer services just skip them and disable every single one of these services as it will help you to optimize the performance of your PC drastically. Once again, if you want to revert any of them back again, head over to the revert registries folder and select them to apply that. Fifth folder over here is power plan settings in which I have left ultimate performance power plan. You are gonna have to right click on this as administrator and this will create a new power plan by running a powershell command on your PC. To access that, double click on power plans and then select ultimate performance in this list. Once that is done, simply close it and this will allow your PC to disable all kind of unwanted power saving features to optimize 
optimize the performance of your PC. Next is input delay improvement in which I have left keyboard input latency fix in which I have left all of these keyboard buffers. Once again, I would recommend you guys to leave your keyboard model specifications down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which keyboard buffer you need to choose over here. Then the next one is mouse latency in which I have left fixed mouse curve. This is a generic setting which helps you to make your mouse movements more lifelike and if you edit it in notepad you guys can see that it helps you to set up the correct hex values for the smooth mouse x and y curves to optimize your input latency once that is done seventh folder over here is programs in which i have left clean temporary files msi mode utility 3.0 and quick cpu let's start with the first one simply right clicking on it as administrator once you're over here press enter on your keyboard and this will delete all temporary files off of your pc which is highly recommended to do it every time you open up this game as this will help you to free up unwanted system resources and your storage. After that, press enter again and next is MSI mode utility 3.0. Simply right click and run this as administrator. Once you're over here, select your graphic card and select the MSI button next to it. Then for the inter priority, select high and then click on the apply button. This will allow your graphic card to handle more interrupts without overclocking it. Next is quick CPU and this is a setup file. Simply double click to install this on your PC and then search for quick CPU to open it up. Once again, Quick CPU is a really simple application and here is how to use it. First things first, make sure that all of these indexes are set to 100%, which includes your core parking, frequency scaling, turbo boost and performance. Also enable this AC and click on the apply button. Once that is done, simply close this software and this will disable core parking on your PC and ensure that all of your CPU cores are up and running while you're playing your games. Once that is done, simply close the FPS pack. Next step is disable unwanted startup applications and for that simply search for task manager on your PC. Press enter and this will open up task manager. What you guys are looking for is the fourth tab which says startup apps over here. Now you want to disable all of these unwanted applications which you feel that you do not use right after the boot of your PC. This will ensure that less number of processes will run in the background of your PC as you boot it up. This will significantly reduce your BIOS time and will help you to speed up your computer drastically. This will also ensure that no unnecessary service is running in the background which is consuming your system's resources even though you do not use them. To disable any application, simply select it and then you're gonna have to right click on it and click on the disable button which should be shown over here. Once that is done, simply close the task manager. Now you guys can drop into the game for the best in game settings. Alright, once you're in your game, head over to options and then go over to video settings. Make sure that your window mode is set to borderless full screen, your resolution should be your native monitor resolution and then for the scalability settings go for custom shading quality i would recommend you guys to go with low but if your pc can support it you guys can go with medium shadow quality should be low texture quality high view distance quality high but you guys can adjust this to medium as well foliage quality visual effects global illumination should be set to low anti-aliasing quality should be set to high post process and reflection quality low and the reflection method should be screen space then for high quality lighting, I would highly recommend you guys to disable that because it consumes about 30 FPS. And then for the motion blur, you guys can go with disabled. V-Sync should always be disabled and frame rate limit should be turned off. For the DLSS method, if you guys have a NVIDIA graphic card, you can use NVIDIA DLSS on balanced or performance. Both of them works fine, but if your PC can handle it, you can go with quality as well. If you guys have an AMD graphic card, go with AMD FSR and then head over to performance or balanced. Both of them works absolutely fine. Once all of that is done, press your R key and then click on yes. And now you guys can enjoy the game with the highest FPS possible. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to leave a like and smash that subscribe button because you are really close to 250,000 subscribers. I really trust you all to help me support this journey and we'll see you all in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.